In 2018, we left all we had ever known behind in Florida to make our way to Alaska in an attempt to drive our truck camper from Alaska to Argentina. We made it to the top of the world and turned south only to confront one challenge after another. But along the way, we fell in love with the road and realized that our call to wander would need an RV with a little more space. So we sold our truck camper and purchased a 22-year-old Class C motorhome that needed just a little bit of TLC. This is the story of how we spent six months remodeling our new home on the road. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, lady. Hey, lady. That's loud. Yes. That's loud. Why are you stopping me? Because we gotta say hello. Hello. Well, let's talk about today. The kitchen counter. Oh yes, the kitchen counter. The kitchen counter. That I've been there. fearing this thing for a while because it is an expensive piece of wood that Lindsay's now put many, many hours into staining. And I am scared of making the wrong cut hole to drop the sink in. Yeah. If it's too big and the sink just slides right through, if it's too small, that's not a problem. I can keep trimming it, but oh man, I'm 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 a little worried about this. So I've been putting it off. That's what I do with things that I worry about. Yeah. I put them off. I don't procrastinate. Like like in school, I never procrastinated because mm -hmm. I wasn't worried about that crap. <laughs> this I'm worried about. Yeah. Like like I'm not procrastinating. Not easy. I want somebody else to do it. Why don't you come do this for us? <laughs> That'd be nice. But right now, I'm ready to hire somebody to do it all for us. If you've ever worked with IKEA products, you know that their installation instructions, their manuals are not all that fantastic. They're pretty, they're pictures, and they're very brilliant from an international business standpoint, because presumably everybody in the world understands pictures. However, it is not simple. And um, so what I'm gonna do, because I am fearful of cutting into this beautiful um, countertop, the butcher block counter that Lindsay's crafted for us, I am going to actually use a piece of plywood and model it because I'd rather screw up the plywood that scrap than screw up this beautiful butcher block counter. So here's what I got going on so far. I drag this in. Here's our sink. And I'm kind of replicating what it's saying to do, which is, this is the bottom. I think it's saying this. So we'll walk through the instructions together. There's the happy guy. Yay, here's the tools needed. Right now, I got my pencil, boom. Um, I have no idea what this means. Don't make love to the wooden frame. Pat it gently on the side. Um, I don't know what I'm doing, so I must call Ikea. All right, here's the fun part. So this is not our sink. This is our sink. Why this is here, I don't know. We're gonna cross that out, boom, boom, boom. Don't wanna get confused. We definitely don't have this double sink. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 done. And we don't live in these dark countries over here, so I'm assuming that does not apply to us either. So this right here is us. We've got 10 of these little guys counting on our tools and supplies. I don't know what this other 10 times means because we only have one set of 10. We got eight of these things, which are a little sticky. I don't know what they're gonna actually do. I did the insulation, insulation. And then step one, no step information. It's not actually a step, it's a little eye. Um, there's the countertop, take it off, flip it upside down. So this is gonna be the challenging part when we're doing ours, is it's not square and perfectly neat and organized like this. It's a funky shape, and we're going to have to figure out exactly where we can put our sink. However, we've done that. Step one, okay, do, 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 do. I don't know why it's telling me to do all that stuff. Because step two is tracing around the edge of the sink. So here goes practice. Now here's a trick. If I cut that right now the way that it is, 
the sink just falls right through. So we've got to back it off a certain amount. But I do see over here, this is where we need to make an inner diameter that we're going to actually cut, or an inner perimeter that's going to be 3 8 of an inch. You probably can't see that. 3 8 of an inch inside the outline that I just traced. And just a little preview. From there, we're going to start cutting. So the first thing is getting rid of the sink momentarily. All right, so you can see the outline here. I'm going to go ahead and get my tape. And we're going to come in 3 8 of an inch. So there is one. There's two, there is three. Right like that. One, two, three. All right, I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna get my square out so I can make a nice straight line. I will check back in in just a second when I'm ready to cut. There's a hole. There's a hole. There. So we definitely could probably maybe a little bit maybe a little bit further in. Well, it depends. I don't know how much of a gap we need for the. That's what it depends on. Okay, so that part's done. Now we're gonna put the little clips on, hopefully, and see how that works. Cause I don't understand the instructions on that. <laughs> clippity doo da day. I figured it out. Mm -hmm. The issue is that the plywood that I'm using is not as thick as the, the countertop will be. And maybe that's what some of the dimensions that it was showing here that didn't make any sense. Maybe they're saying that your countertop has to be a certain thickness. So what we figured out is inside of here, there's a little clip and we've added just some scrap wood to simulate how thick our countertop actually is and how these clips will work. They will lock into these little holes that go around the side, just like that. And the instructions are very clear. I know what that X means. That don't X means it. don't use a drill. So we've got screwdriver. It just manually locks into place. The screw creates its own tension with this little clip here. And so eventually it gets nice and snug. It's not quite there yet. It's there. pretty happy with how the simulation turned out with the exception that I made a little error that wouldn't happen on the other one um, this is supposed to be the bottom of the counter so underneath, underneath the under the bottom side the underneath side but as you look around the edge when we put the silicon seal in there it's gonna fit pretty nice the other reason it's the bottom is you can see my pencil mark mm -hmm. which wouldn't show up when we do it right. So, what do you think? Is it time to? Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, we can figure out what you did to the bottom, whatever. So. All right. All right. So it just occurred to me that maybe I am a procrastinator. You see how it works. I started out ready to cut a hole in our beautiful countertop, and I put it off, and I put it off, and we made two trips to Lowe's. And I'm going to do the plumbing thing first and something else will probably come up because I really don't want to cut the hole in this wood. 
The reason why we're doing this is once we get the counter cut and we get the and we get the sink put into the counter, we're gonna drop the whole thing in here and I gotta have everything ready for it to be dropped into place. And that includes having the, um, the faucet lines ready to just clip in with the shark bite into the PEX um, pipes that we've got in there. That being said, I'm gonna go ahead and saw this little piece off and hopefully put the elbow on and then get that in place. And then I promise, I promise, I promise, we'll get into cutting the hole in the, the counter and we'll get the counter put into place. Got that elbow piece added on there. So we got rid of the stink valve and now I can put this back in place. That. So this height can adjust a little bit as we need to. I, think I can push it down. And that's, it's just gonna depend on um, the drain. And if we have the right size for the vertical up and down, it'll fit the drain perfectly. If not, then we'll have to get some new one and a half inch pipe because I might've cut that a little too short. Story of my life. On that note, it's time to cut this sinkhole for real and do it right and not cut it too short. So I'm gonna get into that right about now. What do you say, Lindsay? Let's do it. 